Okay, so I'm gonna try to show you guys this a little discreetly. Do you see the dominance play between these two dogs? <clears throat> the boxer was trying to dominate the bulldog and then the bulldog got up and was like, no, you're not gonna dominate me. And he was like, two can play at that game. So he's doing what he did back, staring in the face, siding, um, doing up, you know, like squaring up. See, now the boxer's trying to dominate again, trying to assert himself. Looks like they got in a little bit of trouble there by their owners. Boxer knows he's not supposed to be doing it. Bulldog is still trying to assert himself, face in his face, trying to show dominance, making sure he knows that he's not backing down. You can see the the Australian Shepherd over there made sure to make pretty good eye contact as well. <clears throat> okay, all right. Now I probably seem weird, so I should I should move away <laughs> and look at something else. But I've had people ask me to show body language, dog body language, and it's it's um, not always the easiest to film. But oh, look, see that guy's scared of midnight. Good girl! Good girl! <laughs> oh my god, look at Preacher over there playing with that kid. Let's see what Midnight's up to. Midnight! Yeah, have it, woman. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're County Corsos. Yeah. It's an Italian Mastiff. So awesome. Thank you. I'm guessing the big black one is. Yeah, is that's that their the dad. Of these two, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're mm -hmm. Yeah, these are the uh, females that we kept from our litter with him. Wow. So. And then is the Brenda one over there? Is that. Um, she's not related to the puppies, but um, she is a Connie Corso. Wow. So, yeah, we got her um, from the same breeder we got the black one from. <clears throat> you guys breed them? Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yeah. Do you have a website or something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a website and a YouTube and all that good stuff. Yeah. What's, so. the, what's the website? Is it easy to remember? Um, uh, it's Senza Tempo Connie Corso. So S E N Z A T E M P O and then Connie Corso. Um, and it, it means timeless in Italian. So. I control these dogs! So, yeah. Thank you very much. I got this little fat bulldog running around. Oh, is that the Brenda one? Yeah, that's, my that's awesome. Come here, Toby. Toby. Come here. I was actually filming his interaction with that boxer <laughs> to demonstrate the dominance play <laughs> for people because that's one of the things I do on my channel. Oh, that's funny. <clears throat> yeah, the boxer was uh, was dominating him, and then he was like, "Nah, man, you're not gonna dominate me." So I was like, yeah, I was like, that's how it goes. <laughs> so. I mean, it's just like in our human relationships, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, is, it really is exactly the same way. I try to tell people, like, people are like, there's no hierarchy, it's blah, blah. And it's like, um, what's your job? Like, the hierarchy. What's your system of government? It's a hierarchy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We all answer to somebody. <laughs> The dogs go for? For limited registration, we do 1700 and for full registration, we do 2500 and, and full is basically breeding rights. So, yeah, and they're health tested and everything. Like their dad, he's got hips rated in the top 5% of the breed. They're dual registered. As you can see, perfectly socialized, very good behavior. <clears throat> yeah. And then we also have a monthly puppy group where we get together once a month and we ever, all the puppies get together with their parents and us and we all work together to train them. 
Let's see. Um, I know. Where are the bags? Uh -uh. I don't see any. That's the only. <laughs> no problem. Here, a good one. <laughs> Oh, look, 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 he's trying to dominate Blondie. Hey. Blondie, come on. Come here. Hi, hi. Hi. He did yogurt, he did yogurt. So the reason why Blondie gets dominated a lot is because she's insecure. And the, um... Dogs that are in a pack setting like this or in a huge setting like this, they're going to be doing what they can to move up, you know, to establish hierarchy. And so if they see a weaker individual, then that's low hanging fruit, right? That means that they're easily going to be able to, uh, to dominate that dog and move up one in the rank. So, um, so that's why when a dog uh, shows insecurity, they get picked on, which is another reason why in the videos with the mama dog, she's always kind of pushing them and messing with them, trying to make them toughen up so that they're not weak and they're not going to get bullied later in life, you know. Um, you don't get strong through being protected and coddled. You get strong by getting out there, experiencing life, and, uh, you know, you, you learn by trial and error. And so the mama knows that and she's going to do everything she can to toughen those puppets up so that they're going to be able to compete in the world. And we could all, you know, learn that with our kids, you know. My daughter, she'll be working as soon as she's able, you know, and um, I want her to have good work experience. I want her to know what it takes to survive in this world. And, um, you know, we don't coddle her. And you should, you know, so that's how, it's how the mama dogs are and it's how we all should be. It's the pressure that makes the diamond. I know it's super cliche, but it's true. Puppy! Blondie! Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty baby girl. Hold on, my baby. Hold on, my baby. Midnight! Oh, my baby girl. Oh, the baby girl. Oh, the baby girl. Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. Oh, the baby. Stretch the booty. Stretch the booty. They're <laughs> too cute. Velocity. She's doing so good. She hasn't tried to take off. She hasn't been super excited. What a good girl. What a good girl. Yes, you are. She's had very healthy levels of play. She's doing real good. That's how it is, folks. Practice makes perfect. It doesn't matter how difficult the dog is. If you put in the work, they will come through. You know, you may not see results immediately. It may seem like you're not getting anywhere. Sometimes it seems like you're just smashing your head up against the wall. But the truth is that you will get to a point where, you know, it's like the clouds just clear and the dog just changes and gets better out of nowhere. And um, you see that, that that wasn't a bad level of play. You know, she communicated a little bit, but it wasn't, you know, she wasn't trying to, to bite or anything. That was totally normal, totally okay. And um, there's a saying uh, that if you win every battle, you can't lose the war. And um, I firmly believe that with these dogs. Sometimes you don't have to be able to see the end. You know, in a war, you're just you're just fighting, and you just get your head down, and you and you keep working until until something happens. You know, until something changes. But you just keep working, and that's how you are with these dogs. You know, if, if you've got a tough one like Velocity, you just keep working at it every day. You just get out there and you do training and you work at it, and you stay consistent. And I'm telling you, over time you will hit a moment where it clicks and the dog all of a sudden starts to change and starts to listen and, and behave. And then all of a sudden you fall in love with that dog in a way that, that you wouldn't have had that dog been easy and simple and all that stuff. You get a bond, you know, an understanding and, uh, and a respect. And, and then you can just grow from there. But it takes consistency and hard work and you cannot give up.